Good afternoon. I'm Thomas Brickner, uh, the instructor for Physics 2054 during Summer B of 2018. Let's go through a few things to get going for Monday lecture. Uh, a couple things. We're going to do some eye clicker activity on Monday, so bring your eye clicker too if you have one. Uh, and if you have one, uh, make sure to register it through web courses. Our web courses area is going to open uh, about 8 o'clock tonight. This is Sunday. Um, and so you can register it before class. Uh, it's pretty easy. You just click on the <coughs> link there on the left. And it takes you to this uh, registration page. And you type in the little remote ID number on the back of the eye clicker. It's going to be eight characters of some kind. And you type that in. And then you type in your UCF email. And you're squared away. All you got to do is click the register button. And just a word of warning, uh, Chrome is usually better for registering, uh, especially on Apple machines. I don't know why that is, but it appears to be the pattern. Um, <clears throat> a couple more things to go over with you before class. We're going to be getting free access to the Cutnail ebook, which hopefully is <clears throat> uh, good news for everybody that doesn't have it yet. If you do have it already, I want you to go to bookshelf uh, or to vitalsource.com and get the bookshelf app uh, and we're going to use that uh, it, well I'll be using the bookshelf app with the ebook uh, through this summer B session uh, and it will really help you study well so if you can get that set up uh, see what you can do it might be a little tricky just to try to work on it a little bit um, we'll be going over the syllabus uh, on Monday as well uh, and then when we're done with that, we'll start working on Chapter 11, Fluids. So skim ahead uh, through Chapter 11 on Fluids. And uh, one of the things that I've already set up for you uh, in Chapter 11, uh, or I should say in Web Courses, is a Chapter 11 uh, assignment in Wiley Plus, which we have for free this semester. And hopefully it works for you guys. It worked for me already today, so hopefully it'll work for you guys. Uh, it's a fair, if you do the reading on the Bernoulli effect towards the end of chapter 11, uh, you should be able to answer these questions. Um, and so it'll click open um, from web courses into a new window for Wiley Plus. And just a side note to you, um, it messes up your web browser if you have more than one Wiley Plus window open at a time from web courses to Wiley Plus. All right, so when you're looking at web courses and you see a Wiley Plus uh, button to click, um, make sure your other Wiley Plus windows are closed before you click on that. All right, otherwise it'll get all discombobulated. Uh, now, another thing, in the book itself, there's some nice problems. I want to see if you can uh, try the Prairie Dogs problem, number 61, on page 311, and then number 73, the rooftop problem, on page 312, and try to do it without first looking at the uh, student solutions manual. And we'll talk about both of those in class, uh, hopefully, uh, on uh, on Monday afternoon. All right, we have a UCF Academic Integrity Module. I want you to get that squared away. It's about 90 minutes worth of work. Um, and uh, you should be able to start working on that on Monday. Um, it's in the modules list. It's the very first module. And you have to complete all the items. Just go through sequence, introduction, frequently asked questions and so on. Just work your way through it. It's pretty basic. And then at the end, you have an academic integrity quiz. Get that squared away. Uh, and, uh, and I'll tell you more about, the, about why we're doing this 
academic integrity module at the beginning of the semester. Uh, I'll tell you more about that uh, in lecture on Monday when we go over the syllabus. So that's a few things that you can do to get ready for Monday at 3 p.m. And uh, welcome aboard.